Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Kat. And we're with Keenan Green Support. Today, we're gonna to take you through how to perform an ohm test if you think that one of your infrared heaters is not functioning. If one of your heaters is not working, set your thermostat to your desired temperature. After about 10 to 15 minutes, using an infrared thermometer like this one, measure the surface temperature of each heater in your infrared system. Typically, if it's a cove heater, the temperature should be reading around 300 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. If any of your heaters are reading room temperature, that means something is not functioning correctly. The next step would be to schedule your electrician to come out and perform an ohm test. The ohm test that you are going to perform on your heater basically tells us if the element inside your heater needs to be replaced or if there's something else going on within your system. This is what the element looks like in your heater and this is the most important part. Basically, this element here is like a light bulb that goes inside the lamp. The ohm test tells us if the element is bad, the light bulb, or if there's something else on the wiring that needs to be changed. And an open loop reading will let us know that your element needs to be changed and then your heater will work again. After confirming that your heater is reading room temperature, you're gonna remove the heater from the mounting and also disconnect it from the power to access the junction box on the back of the heater. Then you're gonna use the multimeter in the correct range for resistance mode omega and attach the probes to the black and the white leads from the heater. The black probe is gonna go on the black lead from the heater and the remaining probe will go on the white. An OL or open loop or infinity reading qualifies for a warranty replacement element. Take a picture of the results of the ohm test with the black and white lead still attached to the heater and send it to heating green support in order to request a warranty replacement. If your ohm test does not result in an open loop reading, this tells us that replacing the element will not solve the issue. There are a multitude of things that your electrician can look at, including the connections in the junction box, that the correct voltage is getting to your heater, and that all connections are secure along the circuit. Another thing to check is that the voltage on site matches the voltage of the heaters in your infrared system. If you have any questions about running your heaters, about support, or any troubleshooting, please reach out to Heating Green Support at support at heatinggreen.com or 360-715-4328, extension 103. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.